Christoph, in dealing with the super big questions of reality, what is ultimate reality? Most scientists don't bring consciousness as a fact to use to understand ultimate reality, deal with fundamental physics and, and uh, cosmology. Uh, how, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you think the, the fact that consciousness is uh, existent is something that we need to consider in discerning what ultimate reality is? Completely, absolutely. Well, the only way I know about the world is through my conscious experience. Yeah, but that's a different thing. I mean, you may have that, that may be how you know things, but that doesn't mean consciousness is, is fundamental to reality. Two how else things. do I know about reality? No, no, I, I accept that, that that's your way of knowing about reality. But, but that could be a total random accident that just happened to be that way. It just happened to be, but that's your, yeah, so I find myself in a universe where I happen to have consciousness. Yes. But it's such a central fact that if, I, if that gets left out, then you, I've almost explained nothing really relevant about the universe. And so what I want to explain is everything physical, but yes. also this most central aspect that I have and that you have and that dogs have and lots of other creatures have. And so how, how can we leave that out? The, the, I think the more relevant question is, is that like, um, you know, is that like another phenomenon like wetness? So if, if physicists like to talk about wetness. People mm. don't think to understand why water is wet, why it clings to walls. You need to, under, you need to introduce a new thing called wetness, right? It just emerges out of, you have a bunch of systems, you have, there's laws of physics and chemistry that tell you ultimately what wetness is. Right. Most people, most biologists think consciousness is of that ilk. So therefore, you don't need to add anything special. Consciousness is just another emergent property like wetness or like representative democracy. It's inherent in, 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 um, in physics. But, uh, but the, the, the other attitude is that because consciousness is so radically different from anything else, conscious experience is not at all identical with the substrate, with the brain that gives rise to two, fundamentally two different things. There's this explanatory gap between the two. And to really satisfactorily explain that, we need to postulate there's something in addition to you know, space and time and matter and energy, and that's conscious experience. And what does that imply about ultimate reality? How deep can we get with consciousness to help us discern what it's all about? Well, it implies there's more to the universe than just the, 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 what's today accepted physics. Now, you can, of course, enlarge physics to say, well, okay, I'm, since experience is, is, has lawful relationship to the underlying organizing system, I think it, it's linked in a very specific way through complexity. You can describe it using mathematics. So just like today, people think, oh, we have to enlarge physics, we have to include this dark matter. And, you know, 15 years ago, people said, oh, there's this dark energy, so we have to, you know, what we call physics has to become larger. I think in the fullness of time, we'll also realize, yeah, we, consciousness has to be also part of that, and so we have to enlarge physics further. We've been doing it historically for lots of other things. Yeah, I'm not sure it's fair to equate dark matter and dark energy uh, with consciousness. No, in one terms we of know, what, the what, other what, one don't know. Well, no, yeah, but even before we d knew about that, because they, they are extensions. You can explain dark energy by, by uh, physical principles that we've known before. Uh, uh, well, except that no physicists have done so, and when they do, they get off by 120 orders of magnitude. Yeah, a little yeah. embarrassing thing. Yeah, yeah. Apart they, from they, that, they, it's they basically issues. understood. They, they, they have certain, but, but they are at least in principle able to, 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 to think about how the physics of empty space can generate energy. That, that, that is certainly part of Yeah, and physics. I can think how, how the physics or how the mathematics, more precise, of complex system generates consciousness. There is a precise theory. You, it makes precise prediction. You can measure it. It has a scalar. So, and, uh, so what else do you want? What, what, what more do you want of it? There's a predictive theory and, and you can measure it. That's, that's what science is about. Why should it have been the case that consciousness, this wonderful experience to see uh, a red table and, uh, and green pants, if that's right, uh, why should it have been the case that that is what this universe is? We don't know. 